As usual, Garbo Shehu, when he speaks, he breaks the internet. What's, what did he say recently? Hmm. He said, Nigerians who are paying ransom um, are encouraging terrorism. Um, according to him, when you pay ransom, especially because of your loved ones, you know, obviously it's, it's understandable that people who are trying to set their loved ones free would easily succumb to payment to the terrorists. But he's saying that that exactly is what is fueling this industry. Mm. And many people mm. are reacting to this. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, let's negotiate from Shegumi was with the government. He was trying to see how the government can understand the plight of yeah. the people, the terrorists, the bandits, and you know, come to an understanding with them. Yeah. He wasn't talking about family negotiation. Of course. This one we're talking about, Shehu Garba, is talking about, he's trying to blame families who are hurting mm. for the failures of governments to rescue their people. Simple. If government has been proactive enough to rescue people, to find the sponsors, to uh, jail them, arrest them, you know, show us through their body language that they are for the Nigerian people. Do you think families will be, will be borrowing money and doing whatever it is to pay okay, and get their people out? I don't need it's to because there's, there's a lack of um, uh, action being taken by government to save their people. So, do you want to sit down there and allow your family member rot and die? And oh, wait for a government that is not even making, that does not seem like it's making any move to save you. Mm. Or would you do whatever it takes to save your own person? You have said I have it all. Been, I said it all, Abi. I don't need to say any, any, anything. Yes, I don't say anything. Because because talking anything. coming from, you can say it. You can say it. People pay ransom. Tokwa can say it. Obi Adilu can say it. You, government, cannot say that. At all. Because we're all a, res a huge responsibility to your people. They don't... Rescue your people, and you are telling me if I pay ransom, mm, you are the one feeling them. You are telling me if I say Nigeria happens to me, eh? if they kidnap your loved one, will you not say it? Okay, so, so please, they so, should talk with caution. Everybody would only would always say what is right until it fits them. We always say corruption exactly. is bad until mm. it comes to you. Exactly. So I, I think that the assignment of the government is not just to analyze the data; it is to wear the shoes of your people and. I don't know. This is this is another misfire, Miss Yan, from that perspective. We, not at this time when we have kidnappers threatening to kill victims of the train, mm -hmm. and the kidnappers are saying that we no longer want to talk to the government. We now want to talk to the family, the family directly because it seems the government don't care about those people. It is at that point well, that you should not make this statement. Is what is, is, it, is it factual or not? So I said, I, I started by saying yeah. that if you study the facts on ground. ground. Yes. If you study the facts anywhere in the world, they they when, you pay kidnappers, yes. when you pay kidnappers, you encourage the business. They have more money to arm themselves. So he only stated have, it's a so, fact. But a fact, him. when you are stating a fact without, if you want to say, don't pay a hundred million naira as ransom, but I will give a hundred million naira to the police to ensure they are equipped to do the job. I can't hear that. When, you, when we go and meet police officers that you have, your family member is kidnapped, it is the, the, from the police officer that they will tell you, ah, Oga, okay, do you really want to rescue your family member? Talk to the people directly. So we are living in that world where he's saying something different from what the people on ground are saying. So you're not trickling it down. If you don't want to, if you don't want Nigerians to fund kidnappers, how well are you funding the police? Because the only way how to well prevent kidnapping is rescuing the people. Exactly. That, that is a, if you're not going to talk, you say you're not going to talk. It put your shoes, yourself, in the shoes of these people who their families are kidnapped. Oh. The, the seven people that were released from the train. I hear that they paid a huge, a huge yes. sum yes, to get their, those seven people released. There are still 43 people. Still, who have not been able to. Let me, let me, let who me. have not been able to wait? Who have not okay. been able to gather money? Now, the government has not shown any sign that they are doing anything to release those people. I don't know if the baby, the little newborn baby, has been released. And every day, I have sleepless nights thinking of that newborn baby who was born Into in captivity. captivity. It's painful. It is painful to me. Do you understand? But what so, Karabashi she is saying, well, that which I, I want us to understand, he's saying that we are further endangering the lives of other no, Nigerian no. citizens mm. when we keep fueling. So yes, we care about me, myself, and my husband, my love, my children. Yes, because of mm. me, I will pay. But as I'm paying that, I'm putting you at risk. I'm putting you at risk because once I pay for my own children and my mm. own husband, mm. they will kidnap you because they expect you to do the same thing. Okay. So I hear you. There's a part of the government. Okay. Absolutely. We are yeah. all agreement that okay. they should do it. But if I keep paying because my child has been kidnapped, my son has been kidnapped, you are in, you are in danger because they will do the same for you exactly. I agree so with you, If we keep Mariah. doing that for one by one, yeah. all of us are in danger. I agree with you, Mariah, but what other choice is it giving to us?
So exactly. it's not enough to just have a talk shop. You are doing this and you are doing that, but you are not providing solution. If you exactly. had made this same statement and he had given us another solution, this is what the government is doing. So, so and so time, people have been kidnapped in so so and so places. It took government so so and so time and they were released in good health. They are being taken care of. This is happening. We have released so so and so, so so and so and so so and so. We <laughs> have an option. Hey. You are presenting us an option. Yes. Or you want to say, okay, we would like to have a stakeholders meeting and we, this is what we need the family members to begin to do in aiding us to do our job. You are giving us another option. But to say, eh, yeah, is it not because you are paying? This president you are of, of your are doing this. Many like, years ago when this show first started and kidnapping was new yeah. to us, I remember when they were saying we should not ne negotiate with terrorists. I was one of the people that say no, we shouldn't negotiate with kidnappers. I was one of the this same Yakubu called me, called on the show and asked if your own family member is taken. I remember that day. Is taken. Yes. Will you? you and I thought, and I sat down and I thought about it. But, eh, it is very true. If my own family member, will I say they shouldn't negotiate? Mm. Now you that you are saying don't negotiate. What have you done? To ensure that people one. are not kidnapped. What have you done to ensure that the people who are kidnapped are released? Are released Nothing. In good health. On the trying. 28th of March this year, a train, not a small thing, got um, derailed. Attacked. And we knew the number of people that were kidnapped. So if the government has taken three months, um, almost um, four months now, to sort out the rescuing of them, if Gabba Shehu comes and, and says that we have secured the release, of the remaining train victims. Mm -hmm. This is why we tell you, don't, don't pay. pay. We are working on it. Mm -hmm. It is the point oh, when we, you, you, there are times when you say things that, by, by virtue of what you have done, even, we do, even if we are not pleased, we are willing to say that I will make this sacrifice. I will sacrifice long enough because I feel like the government is going to help me to do what they should mm -hmm. do. But why will, I, why will I be forced to sacrifice my own loved one eh. when I've not seen the government's corresponding mm -hmm. willingness to do what they can do to rescue Fantastic them? Fantastic point. So yeah. I, I feel yeah. that there's a whole lot that needs to be done. It mustn't be just words alone. And strongly, I cannot, I cannot sit down here and in good conscience say that it's okay for us to mm. continue to pay ransom because in actual fact, for every time we we pay ransom, we are empowering the kidnappers okay. to continue kidnapping. Yes, so it is, it is, they are buying, yes, we are empowering them more. So it is, it, it, yeah. it is just emotional and, and like for ourselves that we cannot let our but family members be there. Yes, wait, so wait, see, we already said it, that the solution is wait, for the wait, government to rescue wait, people wait, that we have at whatever cost possible. But if the government does not give us a solution, they you cannot stop us from paying ransom. So we continue to be a kidnappers then. So what do you want us to do? Sacrifice my love.